Time now for the morning rush. We start with Kristen Curry. Good morning. Still looking at the potential for some rain and snow showers across central and northern New Mexico here as we get into this afternoon. And mainly tonight over the northern mountains, we expect yet another round of accumulating snowfall. We do have winter weather advisories in place. A few more spot showers on Thursday up north before yet another storm moves in on Friday. Crystal? Thanks so much, Kristen. As you get ready. Well, as you get ready to head out the door, we're following the day's top local stories. We start with Fernanda Lopez live in Rio Rancho. As students here at Rio Rancho High School start arriving for classes, they'll start finding extra police presence. This after Rio Rancho police say they're investigating a social media threat to shoot up the school. The post went on to say the shooter will target the humanities and the fine arts buildings. Police say they're taking the threat seriously, and school officials say they're taking extra precautions beyond beefing up security, but did not say exactly what they're doing. More on what district officials are asking parents to do coming up in the Five facts. Back to you. Happening today, survivors of last week's Florida school shooting plan to hold a rally in their state capitol, trying to pressure lawmakers into enacting tougher gun control measures. Yesterday, the students learned mid trip that the Florida State House had just rejected a move to consider a bill that would have banned assault rifles. The president recently signed a memorandum directing the AG to propose regulations to ban all devices that turn legal weapons into machine guns. A billboard company in Kentucky is working to take down a vandalized sign this morning that reads, quote, kill the NRA. Drivers in Louisville have been seeing this since Friday. The National Rifle Association responded by posting a picture of the sign with a caption that read in part, quote, to all American gun, on gun owners, this is a wake-up call. They're coming after us. The White House is thanking a 15-year-old Florida stu teen student who took five bullets while shielding classmates in last week's attack in Parkland. Anthony Borges is being held a hero today. A fundraising site says Anthony was shot while attempting to close and lock a classroom door last Wednesday. This morning, a Go GoFundMe account in his name has raised nearly $500,000. Rio Rancho is asking residents to vote yes on the road bond question in the March municipal election that would use $10 million to fix roads. The six roads that could see improvements are Abrazo Road, Country Club Drive, Meadowlark Lane, Montreal Loop, Rockaway Boulevard, and Sunt Road. The majority of the money would be spent on Rockaway, Abrazo, and Country Club. Those roads would also have their water line replaced. The existing asphalt will be removed and replaced on Meadowlark, Montreal Loop, and Sunt. This bond will not increase property taxes. Crystal. This morning, a high profile local scientist is being investigated for allegations of creating fake work trips just to keep money. A federal search warrant says William Monty Wood is accused of making up work trips for three years to get reimbursed for money that he never actually spent. Wood has not been charged, but investigators have searched his Santa Fe home. They've seized computers they say could contain even more incriminating evidence. Microsoft is facing a multi-million dollar lawsuit from a man who lives right here in Albuquerque. According to a civil complaint filed earlier this month, Frank Dickman owns a computer which was originally equipped for Windows 7. He says when the computer was upgraded to Windows 10, it became non-functional. Dickman is now asking for a fresh copy of Windows 7 or $600 million in damages. On to new news this morning. Activists say the relentless violence in Syria's brutal civil war is being blamed for at least 250 civilian deaths in the last 48 hours. Relief organizations say the toll is from two days of airstrikes against a Damascus suburb. Hospitals and clinics in Syrian opposition areas are treating thousands of wounded, while 10 hospitals have also been damaged by airstrikes. Kristen. Today's Metro Threat Index out of four, looking at some spot showers possible this afternoon. Cold temperatures to start. We're in the 30s now. Those mid to upper 40s coming back this afternoon. Crystal? This morning suggests alcohol may help keep your life longer. A neurologist from the University of California studied 1,700 people who lived until at least the age of 90. They found people who drank two glasses of wine or beer reduced their chances of dying prematurely by 18%. They also noted that slightly overweight people, but not obese, were 3% less likely to die young. However, they also say 15 to 45 minutes of exercise does reduce the risk of early death by 11%. Kristen. Time now for a check on your Wednesday morning commute. We do have reports of a big metal object in the middle lane of I-25 southbound at Paseo. So definitely use caution in that area. Look out for drivers trying to swerve out of that lane to avoid it. We'll, of course, keep you updated throughout the morning. Louisiana Lieutenant Governor Bill, Billy Nungesser and Zatarans came together yesterday for the second annual pardoning of the crawfish in New Orleans. The event unofficially kicks off crawfish season in the Gulf South. 
Now, the crawfish of honor was named Emil after the founder of Zatarans, who was first, who rather first introduced the seafood boil mixes in the 1920s. After the ceremony, Emil was released in the bayou inside the state park by Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries. Mm. Nice. Well, I don't know if that sounds right. You're named after the guy that killed Cooks all your the... friends? At least he didn't eat them. I guess that's true. I, I like Kristen's reaction. Mm. <laughs> crawfish is good. <laughs> yeah, See, it is. I'm not a crawfish eater, so I just Ooh, always I look at the really sad part. Head and oh my gosh. Okay, we're moving But Emil on. is part. It's traditional, okay? Cultured. Time now for the five facts. On to number five now. Students in New Mexico will get a unique chance to talk with astronauts aboard the International Space Station. NASA is partnering with the New Mexico Museum of Space History to bring its in flight down link project to the Alamogordo School District and the New Mexico School for the Blind. Later on today, the schools will take turns asking questions to three astronauts and learn about life in space. When the 1,200 students are expected to watch, parents and the general public are invited to watch the event live on NASA's website. At number four, two Albuquerque City Councilors plan to propose a tax hike. They say the money will be used to hire more police officers and pay them better. The public safety tax would increase the city's gross receipts tax, bumping us closer to 8 percent. Councilor Ken Sanchez estimates it would generate $55 million a year. This ordinance would not have to go in front of voters, and the council could vote on it in the next two weeks. At number three, spot showers possible across northern, central, and western New Mexico today. Snow kicks in overnight for the northern mountains. Temperatures in the 40s today, but warmer for uh, the rest of the state come tomorrow. Number two now, an investigation is underway this morning following an officer involved shooting that sent a suspected car thief to the hospital. The Bernalillo County Sheriff says they got calls about a driver in a white pickup being disruptive at CNM's South Valley campus. When deputies arrived, they found the truck had been stolen. As deputies approached the truck, they say the driver rammed a deputy's unit, then led them on a chase to the Valley Gardens Park. The sheriff says shots were fired at the suspect. Deputies say the suspect was last listed in critical condition. It's unclear how many deputies fired their weapons. None of the deputies were injured. And at number one, students at Rio Rancho High School will head to class this morning with beefed up security. This is Rio Rancho police investigate a threat to shoot up the school. Police say the threat came in the form of a Snapchat saying somebody was going to shoot up the school, targeting specific buildings on campus. Now, Rio Rancho PD says they were made aware of the threat yesterday. So far, they add they are taking the threat seriously and ask anyone to call police.